Hey everybody, welcome back. So after reading the title of this video, which is about nozzle sizes, or does size matter, you're probably asking yourself why you're looking at my watch collection, or at least part of my watch collection, since I'm not even going to pretend that this is all of them. So, one thing that happened recently is my wife asked me to print something for her, and it's going to be a long print. And I'd like to speed it up a bit without sacrificing quality. And I think in this particular case, sacrificing a little quality might actually be good for it. So I bought this a while back. This is a little kit. And I've actually bought it quite a while ago. It's been sitting around. It's got a bunch of different nozzles and sizes and cleaning stuff in it. Here is the Amazon listing. It is the Sukuk, Sukuk, Sukuk. 24 piece nozzle kit it comes with it comes with 2 2.2 millimeter 2.3 millimeter 12.4 millimeter like I really need more 0.4 millimeter nozzles 2 at 0.5 2 at 0.6 2 at 0.8 and 2 at 1.0 millimeters and 16 pieces of nozzle cleaning little stabby things that I'll probably lose the second I take them out and use them in all the correct sizes for these nozzles. So I decided to get it out and try some different things. And since you guys, if you watch my videos, you know how much I hate printing things that I have to immediately throw away, my intention was to find something that I could actually use, and that was, of course, watch stands. So rather than just leave them laying all over my dresser or on my desk they're actually sitting on stands now so this is a stand I decided to print I got this off Thingiverse a long time ago and it's simple it prints really easy and it actually works pretty good no I'm not even going to use the watch stand that I designed myself which I really like which is this one because it adjusts to everything because um, that means I have to go out and source more springs and I'm just don't have the time or the inclination to do that so we're going to use these so this was my how I intended to test this I'm not going to do 1.0 with the 1.0 nozzle and I'm not going to go below 0.4 because a going below 0.4 is not the intention of this test and going to 1.0 I stopped at 0.8 and I'll tell you why but um my intention to do this was to start like a lot of people use a 0.4 at 0 .2, 0 0.2 layer height and then go to 0 0.3 on the 6.6 .6 nozzle and 0 0.4 on the 0.8 nozzle is that making sense and for line width I've always had best luck with 125 percent of the line width then I'm gonna go up to what I feel is the maximum I can go to in layer height on these nozzles which is 0.32 on the 0.4 nozzle, 0.48 on the 0.6 nozzle and point excuse me 0.64 on the 0.8 nozzle and you know that the, the line width on the 0.8 nozzle puts it at one millimeter and I stop here because I simply could not keep the nozzle hot enough I had to turn the temperature see I'm using here 4.6.1 um, this is the line height in, in this group is, excuse me, layer height is 80% of the nozzle size and the line width is 125% and I'm going 210 on the nozzle but it would not print this one at 210 the nozzle just was not staying hot enough I had to go to 230 and that spool was spinning constantly it was almost like it was in some kind of fast motion that's why I decided not to go to 1.0 because not really sure the printer can do it because it's pumping so much plastic through it. Okay, so with all that being said, and I'll put a link to the watch stands and I'll put a link to the little Sukuk nozzle kit below. Let's get the watches off the stands and let's take a look and see the results I got. And you'll see instead of six, I have seven because I did one more just out of my own curiosity. So let me get these off the watches gone and we will talk about this. Okay, so watches are gone, and the front row is the 50% of the nozzle size for layer height, and then sticking with 125% um, of the nozzle size for line width. And you'll see that I wrote on the bottom, this is 0.4 nozzle, 0.2 layer height, 0.5 line width, and it took 
two hours and 38 minutes to print. And this is not the time that Cura reports. This is the actual time from the front panel of the printer. And as you can see, and this is kind of the control. And as you can see, we got exactly what we would have expected to get from 0.2 layer height out of a 0.4 nozzle. See if we can get this to focus halfway decent on this. And you'll see, you know, that's very, to me, that's very, that's, to me, that's above acceptable. That's really, really nice for a utilitarian part. This is a part I'm showing the watches off, not the print. So um, I'm really pleased with that. What I'm not pleased with is that two hour and 38 minutes to print it. So next one up the line is the same. Next one up the line, sorry, that is how I'm doing it, is 0.6 nozzle at 0.4 layer height and a 0.75 line with this one took an hour and 34 minutes. And you know what? I can tell the difference, but it's really still quite acceptable. I really have no problems with that. Not at all. I didn't have to change the temperature on this one. I didn't really have to do... Sorry, I've got my lights in a kind of an oddball position. Let me see if I can move my Buddha body out of the way of it. There we go. That's a little better, isn't it? Everything is getting moved around here still, so my lights are in kind of an oddball position. I have a much brighter light in the overhead, and I have one studio light off to the side. So that's pretty good, and I'm loving that hour and 34 minutes. That is an hour off of the print time. That makes me very happy. Now, this is, this is the, the 0.8 nozzle and a 0.4 layer height and a line width of 1. This took an hour and 7 minutes to print. And as you will see, it is pretty rough looking. Now, is it acceptable? Eh, you know, it for, for what it is, the answer is yes. As a watch stand, it works perfectly fine. It, um... It's, it's acceptable, barely, but it, it, it is acceptable. I, I would have no problems put, setting my watches on this. You can see there are some rough points here. See if I can get it in the camera. I'm hoping you can see that rough point there that really isn't in the other one. Where these curves are, you'll see how it kind of, I don't know if you can see it right in here, but um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit rough in there. Acceptable though for what I'm using it for. So now we're going to bump our our layer height up to 0.8 instead of 0.5. And this one is the 0.4 nozzle and the layer height is 0.32. Uh, the line width is 0.5 and it took an hour and 46 minutes to print it. And a little stringing on it. Didn't notice that. And and actually it's still pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as 0.2, obviously, but again, it is perfectly acceptable for what I'm using it for. And I'm going to show you some direct comparisons between a couple of these here as we go on, but you know what, that's not bad at all. Now on to 0.6. This is 0.6 at a layer height of 0.48, a line width of 0.75, and this took an hour and two minutes to print. We're getting down there now, getting down close to one hour to print. That makes me even happier. And as you can see, this actually came out, you see a little rough here in that curve. That's pretty common when the, when the um, line width and layer height goes up. At least it is to me. It's what I've been seeing. This curve in here, you can see, whoops, you can see is a little rough. But again, for what this is, I'm perfectly happy with it. This area in here, they turned out on nice on this one. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, perfectly acceptable. Now we're on to this one. This one is, whoops, just knocked my glasses off my face. Hang on. This one is, this is 0.8 at a 0.64 layer height and a line width of one. This took 37 minutes to print. Now, one thing you'll notice is there's a bunch of blobs on the bottom. Can you see those? In order to sit flat, this one would have to be sanded or filed on the bottom. 
this side, it's kind of rough in a lot of places. You'll notice a lot of open cracks along in here. That doesn't make me very happy. Um, while it is still, once again, it is, as a watch stand, you look at this edge here. Can you, will it focus on that? Let me try and get my shadow out of it. See that edge, edge in there? That's ah, pretty rough looking, isn't it? And you'll see it, there's a lot of open cracks in here as well. My printer had a tough time pumping through enough filament for this. I printed these on the Alpha Wise U20, by the way, because I had just cleaned it up and tuned it. Had to replace some fans in it, things like that. And um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not completely happy with this. Now, will it hold a watch up? <laughs> Absolutely, it'll hold a watch up. But um, I would, I wouldn't use this honestly for much of of anything other than something very utilitarian or as a size test to make sure I got something fitted right, things like that. So I did one more. This one, I was trying to find a way to get a compromise. So I, I settled on 0.6. This is a layer height of 0.5. Once again, line with the 0.75. This one took 59 minutes to print. And this one makes me very happy. I mean, this is under an hour to print from 2 hours and 38 minutes to 0.4 at 0.2. To this and I'm going to show them to you side by side here hopefully I'll be able to do that so we can see them and you'll see in there I'm pretty happy with that that was a super fast print there are really no glaring faults in this the worst part is probably this curve right here I don't know if you can see it right in here and um, that's been bad on on most of them but yeah, that's that makes me very very happy. There's no there's no open cracks in things. It looks really really nice. So let's compare it with the best of them. Let's compare it with the where is it? Point four nozzle at point two layer height. Let's see if we can get them both in the shot reasonably good. And I gotta tell you, can you tell a difference? Absolutely, you can tell a difference. This one just has a smoother, finer texture. This one has a heavier texture. But um, if you weren't looking at them side by side, I don't think you'd find anything wrong with this one. Again, 0.2 on the right. 0.5 layer height on the left. 0.2. 4 nozzle on the right, 0.6 nozzle on the left. Yeah, it's definitely rougher. Whoops, definitely rougher in here. But this was the best of my of my points of, of all the ones larger than 0.4. And um, so let's compare it with the 0.4 at 0.32. Where is that one? That is this one. So we're going to have 0.4 at 0.32 and 0.6 at 0.5. Not really. I don't think you're really going to see a huge difference. And in some places, I think the 0.6 actually looks nicer. Like that to me, that's that would almost I, I can't describe it as anything else than stitching appearance across here. To me, it just looks better. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe I just want the faster one to be better but um you see that curve there the trouble area will it focus there this area here on the point four at three two there and then the point six here you know I gotta tell you between between an hour and 46 whoop, let me swap them back between an hour and 46 and 59 minutes, I'll take this one any day because I don't see that huge amount of difference between the two. So, what do you draw from all this? Well, if you're like me and you feel the need for speed, you're going to want to go to a .6 and you're going to want to stay somewhere, I think, in between, on the, on the layer height, somewhere between 50% and 80%. 60 to 70 percent layer height of the size of the nozzle 
and um, you won't have to change your speeds, you won't have to change anything, your heat, you won't have to change anything. All you got to do is swap the nozzle out, and you'll get that very much increased print time, which I like, because this thing my wife wants me to print for, <laughs> it, with a .4 nozzle and .2 layer height, it's going to be pushing 40 hour print, and it's going to use most of the roll of, of, of filament, and um, that just leaves a lot of window of opportunity for things to go wrong. So, again, this is the Sukuk little little kit of nozzles and cleaners. I'll put the link below. If you have a set of nozzles that you've been wanting to play with, maybe now would be a good time to do it because I think I learned a lot from this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, hit notifications, and um, if you can, use my affiliate links because it does help a little bit in me purchasing some of this stuff. And I will catch you guys the next time. Bye for now.